When you play the game of thrones, you truly play the game of power. In this game, there are 48 laws. Knowing how to use these laws is a matter of life and death. When you play the game of thrones, you win or you die. In this video series, I will uncover who used these laws to their advantage and succeeded. I will also talk about those who didn't use the laws properly and lost everything. We start with law number 18. Do not build fortresses to protect yourself. Isolation is dangerous. Never isolate yourself when you come under pressure. This just cuts you off from information you need and people who could help you. And when real danger arises, you won't see it coming. Instead, make a point of being outgoing. In the intricate tapestry of Westerosi politics depicted in House of the Dragon, the narrative of Law 18 from Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power finds vivid illustration through the tragic saga of Rhaenyra Targaryen and her father, King Viserys I. Law 18 warns against isolating oneself in times of power and influence, emphasizing the dangers of withdrawing from alliances and vital information. Viserys Targaryen, faced with the daunting task of securing a stable succession for his realm, initially defied convention by naming his daughter Rhaenyra as his heir. This decision, while bold, was not without its challenges. In a patriarchal society where male heirs were traditionally favored, Viserys encountered resistance from his advisors, notably Otto Hightower, who advocated for securing a male successor to the Iron Throne. Despite these pressures, Viserys remained resolute, gathering the nobility at the Red Keep to swear oaths of fealty to Princess Rhaenyra of Dragonstone, thereby solidifying her claim. However, the stability Viserys sought to establish was undermined by subsequent events driven by political maneuvering and familial ambition. Rhaenyra, secluded at Dragonstone in her role as heir, became increasingly isolated from the machinations of the court in King's Landing. This isolation proved detrimental as it severed crucial ties and left her vulnerable to the schemes of her stepmother, Alicent Hightower. Alicent, driven by her desire to see her own son, Aegon, ascend the throne, orchestrated moves to undercut Rhaenyra's legitimacy and position. Law 18's lesson became painfully clear as Rhaenyra's isolation prevented her from anticipating and countering these threats effectively. Cut off from the pulse of political intrigue and critical information, she was blindsided by the cunning strategies unfolding in King's Landing. This isolation not only weakened her claim, but also exacerbated internal divisions within the realm, leading to a devastating civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons. In the aftermath of humiliation at the hands of Alicent, where she was forced to endure a demeaning procession to present her newborn son to the queen, Sooner or later you may get what it looks like you. Rhaenyra made a fateful decision to retreat to Dragonstone with her supporters. We're leaving. To Dragonstone then? We should have left years ago. Unaware of the Song of Ice and Fire prophecy, thinks Viserys wishes for their son, Aegon, to rule. She prepares to steal Rhaenyra's throne towards the end of House of the Dragon Season 1, while Viserys dies knowing Rhaenyra will be the one to protect the realm from the darkness gusting from the north. If Rhaenyra would have not left to Dragonstone, this attempt of stealing the throne could have never happened. Since the king had been already gone for days and Egon crowned before she had a chance to act. Ultimately, Rhaenyra's story serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of isolation in the pursuit and defense of power. Law 18's admonition to avoid building fortresses around oneself in times of adversity rings true in the context of her tragic fate. Had Rhaenyra remained more engaged with the political currents in King's Landing and maintained stronger alliances, perhaps she could have preempted the challenges to her succession and navigated the treacherous waters of court intrigue more effectively. Historical reference, Napoleon Bonaparte, the renowned military strategist and emperor of the French, rose to prominence through sheer military genius and political acumen. However, his ultimate downfall can be traced back to a critical oversight, his disregard for Law 18 from Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power. Law 18 advises against isolating oneself 
warning that such isolation can lead to a loss of crucial information and blind one to emerging threats. Napoleon's failure to heed this principle played a significant role in his eventual defeat and the decline of his empire. Napoleon's first major deviation from Law 18 came during his ill-fated invasion of Russia in 1812. In a campaign marked by strategic brilliance and logistical blunders, Napoleon's decision to press on deep into enemy territory without securing reliable lines of communication and supply isolated his forces from crucial reinforcements and provisions. As the harsh Russian winter set in and supplies dwindled, Napoleon's isolated position left his army vulnerable to the elements and to Russian counterattacks. This isolation deep within enemy territory, far from the French heartland and its resources, exacerbated the logistical nightmare and contributed to the catastrophic losses suffered by the Grande Armée. Moreover, Napoleon's tendency to centralize power and decision-making further isolated him politically. As emperor, he relied heavily on his own counsel and disregarded the advice and expertise of his marshals and advisors. This centralization of power, while initially effective in streamlining decision-making and maintaining control, eventually isolated Napoleon from critical perspectives and alternative strategies that could have mitigated his later military setbacks. Another critical instance where Napoleon's isolation proved detrimental was during the Allied coalition's campaigns against him in 1813-1814. Facing increasingly unified European powers, Determined to overthrow his dominance, Napoleon's isolation from potential diplomatic allies and his failure to adapt to changing alliances left him politically and militarily isolated. The lack of reliable allies and the shifting dynamics of European politics isolated Napoleon on the world stage, where he faced a coalition bolstered by combined military and economic strength. Furthermore, Napoleon's reliance on fixed defensive positions, especially during the later stages of his rule, reflected a literal interpretation of Law 18 that proved disastrous. His obstinate defense of fortified positions, such as during the Battle of Leipzig in 1813, where he committed heavily to defending entrenched positions rather than adopting a more flexible and mobile strategy, isolated his forces strategically. This rigid adherence to defensive fortresses left his armies vulnerable to encirclement and defeat by numerically superior enemy forces. In conclusion, the saga of Rhaenyra Targaryen and King Viserys the Fly in House of the Dragon poignantly illustrates the timeless principles outlined in Law 18 of the 48 Laws of Power. Their experiences underscore the importance of maintaining alliances, staying informed, and resisting the allure of isolation in the pursuit of maintaining and defending one's position of authority. But what do you think? I want to hear from you in the comment section. And if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up the video, spread this across the realm, and of course, subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace and stay sexy.